Guys, we need to build an auto gyro. If you guys don't know what an auto gyro is, essentially it is a plane with an unpowered helicopter prop that acts as the wing. Essentially, the more thrust you actually give it to go forwards, uh, the more the propeller on the top spins, and the more lift you essentially get. And vice versa, so you slow down going forwards, you actually slow down the amount of lift that you have, and um, that is essentially what we're going to try and build today. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and start off by building the fuselage bit together, and then from there we'll actually probably end up uh, building this thing all together, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I want to make this thing relatively small, so let's go with 0 0.6 uh, right there, there we go, good. And we'll go with 0 0.6 right here as well. We're then going to go forwards and do the same thing, because we can. So there you go, 0 0.6 and 0 0.6, and voila! All right, cool. So let's drop this down. Okay, awesome. Um, that actually appears to be a little bit too big for what I wanted, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, we should be able to actually build this together. So I'm going to send this all the way forwards to there. I'm going to send it all the way backwards to here. I'm going to extend it slightly just here and slightly on the front as well. And essentially what we'll do from there is make this bit in the center look a lot nicer. Now the way we're going to do that is go to vertexes. Here we go. Um, oh, actually, no, before we do that, let's go and assign a material, go ahead and make this a hole, and we'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight. Actually, probably seven and eight. There we go, lovely. Okay, so, uh, stop assigning the material, we can then make this into a nice little shape. So we'll go to this guy right here, this guy right here, and send it all the way backwards to there. We're then going to do the same thing again, here we go, backwards to here. We're gonna do it again, all the way backwards to there. Okay, and again, all three of these backwards to here. And essentially that gives us a nice little cockpit shape uh, that I think honestly looks pretty good. From there, we're gonna go ahead and do the backside as well. Let's do this. And I think that is essentially how we're gonna leave it. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I'm saying that, but actually, the only other thing that I want to do with this is add a bit of a collar around this uh, so it doesn't look so 2D, because um, as you guys can see right there, there is literally like no thickness to this, so uh, I want to go ahead and try, and try and sort that out. Okay, so there we go. I've now built a, uh, a little bit around there that uh, allows this to actually look a little bit nicer. At least I, I hope. Hopefully that does look nicer to you guys. Anyway, from there, what we need to do is actually get to the engine at the front. So that is the next thing that we're going to try and work on. So extrude the fuselage just a little bit. Let's go ahead and actually dip this in just a tiny bit. We'll go down to 0.5. Uh, and we'll go to down to 0.5 right here as well. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and send this forwards just a little bit. We're then going to extrude it. We're going to make this go back out to 0.6. Uh, no, actually 0.6. There you go. Not, not point, not 0.06. Same with this right here. 0.6. There you go. Uh, and we should be able to maybe just send this bit backwards like so. Extrude it again. From there, we're going to go ahead and send it forwards, which gives us this nice little shape right here. Uh, and then try and figure it out from there. So we'll go back down to 0.5 um, and 0.5. There we go. Okay, lovely. That is actually uh, maybe going to look great. Okay, so from there, let's go and extrude it yet again, make this 0.45, there we go, just so we have a little bit of a lip on there, 0.45, there we go, awesome, that actually looks pretty good. We're then going to extrude it again, and we're going to make it uh, 0.4, yes, and 0.4, yes, okay, excellent. From there, we're going to go ahead and send this bit backwards to, I guess, actually where the pilot is, back here. 
Uh, and then we're going to extrude it again, make it zero, and make it zero. Actually, we only need to do it on one axis. That is fine. Okay, excellent. Okay, so from there, let's go ahead and grab ourselves an actual engine and see what we can actually come up with. So I'm thinking we don't want to go with something like too big, because clearly too big is not necessarily that good. Um, let's go and bring it forward. Here we go into where the engine should be. Uh, we're going to have it be a radial engine, of course. Uh, we're going to make it be only like two rows, because I don't want it to be too big. And it is going to fit directly inside of here. Now, that, as it stands, as the default engine, essentially, uh, actually does fit in there quite well. Yeah, that actually, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool. Uh, now, I would kind of make this smaller, uh, but I don't know whether we need to. So, for right now, we'll just leave it as is. Um, although, it does probably weigh quite a bit. Uh, where's the weight? Mass is 1,103 kilos. Overall, I think we weigh a hell of a lot less than that. Yes. Okay, so we, we probably need it to weigh less, so let's make it a little bit smaller. We'll go down to, like, uh, stroke is going to be, like, 130, and then bore is going to be about 140. There. Okay, that seems like it's going to be a little bit better. Let's have a little look, see what the weight of that is now. Uh, that is 452. Okay, I think that's about right, to be honest. So let's leave this here and um, get building with the rest of it. Alright, so I've extruded this. Let's go ahead and send it backwards from there. Actually, before we do that, let me go into this guy and I'm going to try and sort this out on the bottom. So we're actually going to go ahead and mirror it on both sides, of course. And uh, I'm going to try and make the bottom a little bit more flat. Now, I don't know whether this is a, a nice idea or a bad idea, but I think it'd be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and copy this. Move it forwards. Paste it into there. There we go. Nice. Apply. Oh no, has that moved everything? Oh, that's really annoying. That is very annoying, but that's okay. Paste it into there. Okay, apply it. Move it forwards. Paste it into here. Yes, do it again. On this bit, paste it. And I think that'll be the last bit that we actually give it to. Although actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's paste it into here as well. All of them are getting this treatment, which... um. Seems a little bit odd, but actually kind of looks cool now that we've done it. So, yeah. Okay, good. The only thing now, though, is that I have to extend all of this bit backwards again. Which is so annoying, but at the same time, won't take that long. Because we just have to send it to where this bit is. So that bit's good. There we go. Go to the next piece. Oh, grab that and that. There we go. Send this bit backwards to here. Okay, slowly but surely, we'll get this built in. I do think this is slightly wrong. So let's send it a little bit further. There we go, good. Grab this one, and this one. Send it, yes. There we go, grab this one, this one, and this one, and send all of them to there. Okay, so we're back to pretty much where we were before, uh, except this one is also incorrect. So grab that there, grab it here, send it. There we go. All right, lovely, we're back to normal. Okay, so from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale the X to 0.3. There we go, awesome. And this to 0.3 uh, also. No, actually 0.4, I guess. Yeah, just make it a little bit taller. And then send it backwards from there, and that should be good. All right, so we're only going to send it backwards a little bit. Um, and then, I guess, we're just going to build the back end onto there. So we'll go backwards just a tiny bit. I don't want it to be huge. That's the thing. Uh, so maybe decrease this to 0.1. There we go. Okay, extrude it again. We're going to make this as small as possible, but kind of rounded as well, because otherwise it'll look weird. So do this. Send it upwards to there. Okay, awesome. Do this to 0.05. Do it again. Extrude it. Make it go backwards a little bit. Uh, 0.2 and 0. Hey, nice. I think that'll actually look all right. Yeah, okay, sick. So far, this actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so from there, what actually, like, what do we actually need? Well, we're going to go ahead and add a rear bit of fuselage, uh, or a rear, a rear wing, is what I should say. It's not a rear a bit of fuselage, it is a rear wing. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Trailing and leading edges. Excellent. Let's bring the backside forwards, because clearly it's too far away at the moment. There we go. And try and sort this into some sort of shape that we like. Honestly, I don't mind it being this kind of shape that it already is. But I might actually make it look a little bit cooler by sending it backwards. We're also going to make it very skinny. Uh, and then this guy and this guy very skinny as well. 
and we can leave it somewhat like that. Okay, I don't think it needs to be this big either, because this is like the size of an actual wing. We don't need that, we can make it way smaller. And actually, maybe the entire thing needs to be a bit smaller. So grab each of these, there you go, and send it forwards to there. Okay, we're then just going to grab these guys and send this bit forwards, and then I think that'll be okay. Okay, from there, we're going to go ahead and cut this guy about there, that's good. Uh, from there, I'm actually going to go ahead and round this bit off just a little bit, I think. So, we'll actually cut it again. Alright, and if I can, I'm going to go ahead and drag this guy and this guy. I can't grab it. There you go, off to the side, just a tiny bit, like so. Okay, good. Yeah, that actually looks pretty sick. Okay, we now need some vertical, uh, or, yeah, vertical stabilizers, so let's go ahead and lift these guys up into place, here we go, awesome sauce, uh, and essentially these are gonna be on the ends of this bit of the wing. Whether you guys like this or not, it, um, I don't know, w will you like it? Will you like it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, I have just woken up, so my, um, my words aren't coming out quite correct, but I'm trying my best with this one, I, I think it'll look good. Alright, here we go. Also, I just changed the conversation completely there, and I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, grab all of these, send them downwards, and it should look sick. Here we go, so that's gonna go down to about there. Alright, cool. Gonna go ahead and cut this, and I'm gonna make the entire thing a little tiny bit smaller. So, grab this. Here we go, do this. There we go. But then all of it is gonna come down to make it slightly smaller. There we go. Okay, sick. Yes. I think that's fine. Uh, it is a little bit too chunky, so let me grab this guy and this guy, this guy and this guy, and this guy and this guy, and shrink it all down. It needs to be kind of thin. There we go. Alright, good. The back end is looking pretty much correct. This is fantastic. Okay, so the next thing that I actually really want to do is uh, grab the actual rotor itself. Now, I feel like this should be over the center of mass actually quite a bit, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and put it behind the, the, the actual pilot. We're gonna go ahead and make this 0.4... Is that big enough? Is that big enough? Maybe that is big enough. I think it'll be fine. Um, and that should be good. So, um, the collective, let's go ahead and set that to 0.7. Okay, because that might actually allow it to work, maybe. Uh, three blades seems like it'd be cool, but actually I'm thinking two. There you go. Um, and that might work. Maybe. The only thing that I'm thinking now is that the center of mass is actually in the wrong place. So I'm going to try and select this and move it forwards to about there, right above the pilot. Um, whether that'll work or not, I'm not sure. Alright, we're about to add more weight. So, the wings at the back are going to be full of fuel. Okay, they're going to be full of fuel and it's going to be avgas, that's okay. These guys as well are going to be full of fuel, and again, it is going to be avgas. Essentially making this go backwards, which is fine. Uh, from there, what I need to do is actually add a propeller. So let's go to power, get a gearbox, smash it onto the front right there. Make it small, because it's too big at the moment. Here we go, make it real small, and then whack a propeller on there, and we should be good to go. Maybe. <laughs> right, make this 1.5 uh, for now, that's okay. Uh, grab ourselves a propeller, smack it on there, and hopefully it'll be, um, perfect. I think it will be, so, smash this directly under here. Again, I'm gonna go with two rotors, so, or two blades, there you go. Um, and that looks fine, it does look fine. We're gonna go with 40 right there, we're gonna go with 20 right here, and we'll leave that one at zero. Okay, um, blade length, a little bit bigger. Blade cord, a little bit smaller, there we go. And is that cool? That looks like it'll work. Nice. Okay, let's make a bit of a landing gear and um, go for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this together, shall we? I have essentially made some pipes because that is what I want the landing gear to be made of. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and shove those onto here somewhere. Now, I don't know quite how I want this to look. I actually, I've got a bit of an idea. I have a little bit of a plan. So let's move this down to this side. There you go. Down to the actual side, about there. Um, I think I might make it a little bit smaller, but also a little bit wider at the top. So if I can, let's open the fuselage settings. Um, I guess, is it the Y or the X? I'm not sure, so we'll make this one. Okay, it is not that, 0.05. Okay, we're gonna make it 0.15, bam. All right, actually a little bit bigger, 0.25. 
Well, hey, yes, okay, that's about the right size. I'm now gonna go ahead and send this guy inwards, if possible, here we go. Um, and then the landing gear is actually gonna go on there. Now, do I want it to go forwards a little bit? I do. There we go. Um, and the way this is gonna work is... I'm gonna extrude... no. I'm gonna slightly angle this to begin with. I'm then gonna extrude it, and I'm gonna angle it a bit more. But we need it to, like, essentially go out to a right angle. Okay, because otherwise, this will look weird. But there you go. Some Essentially down to there. So let's move this down. Move it across. And we'll actually just go ahead and uh, extrude it. Make this zero. And there we go. Okay. I mean, the wheels can go on there, right? I think so. So let's go ahead and grab a wheel. Where are they? Landing gear. Where is it? There it is. Uh, wheel. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and shove this on here. Um, and I just want it to be a little bit bigger. So let's do that. Hold on, grab the wheel. No, I can't seem to grab it. Okay, wheel is somewhere on the side. Here it is. Uh, radius, a little bit bigger. Uh, width, a little bit smaller. Braking force, sure, we'll go with a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. That doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look terrible whatsoever, actually. That looks quite cool. It does look a little bit too big, though, for us. So instead of making it smaller the normal way, I'm just going to go ahead and lift it into the fuselage and uh, do it that way. There we go. So that is a lot better. Uh, but the propeller might hit the floor, so let's go ahead and do this instead. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now we need a tail dragger, so I'm going to quickly build one of those, and I'll be back in a second. And there we go. Okay, right, so we have a wheel at the back, we have our wheels right here, we have an engine, we have our back end. So this is actually going to be for our uh, pitch. Here we go, yes. Our yaw is, of course, going to go on here. There we go. And I kind of don't want a roll. Like, I, I don't want a roll. But in order to not have a roll, we need to have a dihedral so that we don't actually roll over. With that being said, I guess we could actually angle these guys slightly upwards. Uh, like this. There you go. And then I might actually even just sort of like angle this bit outwards as well. Just a little bit. There we go. Uh, and that might look okay. Um, from there, I might actually drop the entire thing down. Uh, just so it looks alright. Yes. Here we go. So we got a bit of a dihedral now. Um, that might be cool. It might not be though. Um, this, I don't want to be powered. Is there a way of making sure it's, it's not powered? I don't know. I don't- I actually don't know. Um, but that's okay. Right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so here we go! Let's go forwards! Uh, no, we're heading backwards. How have we done that? No, we're going forwards again. Nice. So the propeller is actually working on the front. Sort of nicely, I guess? Uh, I need to figure out how to make the blade work. Cause I'm not sure. Uh, how to make it spin properly, but I think we need to do something with the pitch. Otherwise, it won't actually spin, and that's an issue. Like, this isn't spinning anywhere near fast enough for us to actually take off. So, yes, let's sort that out. Oh no, it's going for it! It is actually turning! Here we go, we got some sort of rotation on it. Excellent. Let's lift into the air. Can we pitch up enough? Oh, it is actually fully spinning. Ah! We've lost a bit of wing, but we've taken off! Ah! <laughs> oh, these things are deadly. These things are so deadly. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. And the faster we get this spinning, the more we explode! <laughs> what just happened? Well, hey, it's working! Nice! Okay. Oh, God. Ah, uh, with no roll, that makes it so much more difficult. This is hard. This is this is actually kind of difficult. All right, here we go again, guys. We are we're doing it again, which seems crazy, but let's try. So the the rotation of this is currently 150. It's now 200, 300, 500, and then it gets itself into the sky. But then it falls out of the sky straight away because it loses its RPM because I stop actually pressing the thingy, the pitch button. Which is annoying because I need to, but yeah. There's not much else I can actually do about that. 
not really. Okay, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to this, and I'm gonna go ahead and set the scale to be a little bit, actually, yes, scale to be a little bit bigger, we're gonna go to 0.6, uh, which makes this thing absolutely massive, or at least it feels that way. Uh, I'm gonna push it backwards just a little bit. It does weigh a little bit more, but that's okay, and we're gonna leave it... Actually, we'll leave it there. That's fine. So it is a lot bigger. Essentially, what this allows us to do is have a little bit more lift, as long as we can actually push it around. So in order to push it around, we need this, and we need the collective to actually work. Now, the main collective is gonna be 10. There you go, the pitch is gonna be 5, and the roll is gonna be 5, hopefully allowing this thing to actually work. Now, the main problem with this is I've actually increased the weight of the, uh, of the propeller by about two times. So it probably weighs too much now, but we'll see. Alright, there it is. There it is, there, right there indeed. Okay, cool. So let's see if we can get this thing spinning. If we can get it spinning, that'd be great. I'm not gonna worry about staying on the runway this time. Although, we are back on the runway. Uh, it's spinning, it's collective is... Oh, it's RPM is almost 100. Okay, so it is sort of working. 130, 150. We're in the air. And we are flying our auto gyro. Okay, right. So, the main issue we have with it... Is that if we don't hit... Okay, if we don't hit uh, our pitch, then the collective actually just turns off. Now, I don't know how we just leave the collective on, so that is our main issue right now. But let's try it yet again, and hopefully we can fix this. Here we go! Yes! Okay, so pitch trim, we're gonna go ahead and do this with it. There you go. Fantastic, let's leave that at that. That's good. Roll trim, we don't need any of. Your trim, we don't need any of right now because you don't have any <laughs> uh, need for it. But there you go, we are in the sky. Pitch trim is too much. Okay, so I don't know... I don't know how to keep the collective at 5 degrees. Because that's, that's essentially what we need here. We need the collective to stay at 5 degrees. But we can't do that. We can't do that, because this isn't seemingly doing anything. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I have an idea. It might be a bad one. But, uh, essentially, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse my pitch on there, and, uh, maybe I don't even need a pitch on there. In fact, maybe that's... Oh, no. That won't work either. We need the collective to stay at five. Otherwise, we'll have an issue. But we already have an issue, so I, I don't... It's still working. Oh, no, it's inverted. Sorry, that, that is what I did. <laughs> That is what I did. Okay, here we go. So get that propeller spinning. Here we go. The propeller is starting to spin. Very nice. Very nice indeedy. We're starting to spin out, but that's okay. Here we go. We've lost a bit of our wing. We have indeed lost a bit of our wing. Okay, but we are seemingly keeping it in the air. We're actually flying our, our auto gyro. There is no power going to these blades. None. Zero. Zilch. And we are flying it. Uh, hey! Who would have thought we'd get this actually working? Not me. Okay, I, I attempted a landing. I think I just slapped it down on the ground. But anyway, that's fine. So we, we're on the ground. Um, 
Okay, we got it working. What I want to do now is spend a bunch of time trying to sort this out a little bit more, making it a little bit more stable and going from there. So um, once I've done that, we'll be back and hopefully we can have a little fly around and hopefully it'll work completely fine. Okay, so here it is in the sky, guys. We are sort of flying it uh, sort of correctly, uh, kind of. <laughs> We're flying it sort of correctly, kind of. We, uh, we need to make sure that we don't pull up too much, because then we'll stall. Uh, we need to make sure we don't push down too much, because then we'll stall. Um, and yes, it's, it's just kind of difficult. You need to keep pressing S in order to increase the collective on the rotor, in order to keep the RPMs up. Um, and it's just sort of kind of difficult. It is very, very difficult to fly. But... Uh, I do want to say, for our first auto gyro, it works. It does actually take off. It does actually fly. It is somewhat usable, kind of. We can actually turn in circles if we need to. Um, and yeah, we can actually just totally fly this thing. It's crazy. It is very crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and take ourselves in for a landing. No, no. Oh, no. Pitch up. Oh, too much pitch. And there you go, you see, that's how crazy it is. It is extremely crazy. But, um, for the test, do auto gyros actually work in flyout? The answer is yes. How crazy is that? Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.